This is the Half-Life Calculator for MathCelebrity.com. To get to the calculator, you type Half-Life. And here's our entry boxes. So we enter our initial size in this box at time of the initial size in this box. Our Half-Life units in this box. And finally, what time do we want to evaluate? So once we're set, we'll press Calculate Half-Life Problem. And so the first few lines kind of summarize the problem. The half-life of the substance is 15. At time 0, this substance has size 29. Calculate the size of the substance at time 45. So what we do is we go ahead and calculate the time difference. It's 45 in this case. Number of half-lives. Uh, that's your change amount divided by your half-life, which in this case is 3. So this is the number of times we're going to reduce our original size by one half. So we're going to go through each time and show you how we reduce down. So time 1, we drop to 14.5. Time 2, we drop to 7 and a quarter. And time 3, we drop to 3.625. Now, we also show a shortcut solution. And that is, we raise 1 half to the number of half-life periods and multiply that by your initial amount. And we get the same answer. We've, we've come across different people like to do it different ways. Therefore, we show both ways. Let's go ahead and do one more problem. So we'll do an initial size of 20. And we'll do a half-life of 8. And we'll do 48. So we'll go ahead and calculate half-life problem. So in this case, we're going to have six half-life periods. We're going to start at time 0 and go all the way to 6. So we reduce by half each time. Time 2, time 3, time 4, time 5, time 6. But then we can do the shortcut formula, 1 half raised to the 6th. Multiply that by our initial amount. 20 over 64, which is matches the solution here. So that's pretty much it for the calculator. We've also got a generate practice problem button feature. And that will come up with a completely random problem for you. So as you can see, it loaded a new problem for you. Press the button again. And it gives you another problem. This feature is cool because you can kind of keep sharp with practice problems once you run out of problems in your textbook. We've also got a quiz generator for this lesson. And for more information on that, you can visit the video link under this folder here. If you've got any more questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.